Hey everyone, welcome back to Learning Bridge. I hope you guys are doing good and staying safe. So I am back with another amazing video for all the data engineers out there. In this video, I will be talking about the entire interview process for the data engineers in top tech companies. And when I say entire interview process, that means from the beginning till the end, what is going to happen in between, how many rounds will be there in each round, what all things you should expect, the topics which the interviewers will ask. And also I will talk about the weightage of different, different topics in the interviews. So whatever I'll be sharing today, that is completely based on my experience of this five years in the industry as a data engineer because I have interviewed with lots of companies top product based companies services startups many more and even in the latest time when I made my recent switch I interviewed with top top tech companies so watch this video till the very end every information is really important every single information is based on practical experience and you guys can help me to spread this meaningful information to other aspiring data engineers by liking this video in really really big numbers and if you are liking such type of content for the data professionals then make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon if you are someone who recently appeared in any of the interviews for the data engineer role make sure to put your experience in the comment section interview rounds process everything this will help audience more and more and thanks to cryo.do for sponsoring this video recently cryo.do has launched their new initiative named as cryo launch which is basically india's largest tech externship opportunity for the developers to showcase their skills and get hired by the top tech product based company so here you can see all the important details related to cryo launch program and guys this is free of cost more than 220 plus product based companies will be there who will hire cryo launch developers the package range from 12 lakhs to 40 lakhs lpa some amazing companies listed down here you can see how does this entire cryo launch program works so four simple steps first you actually need to take an assessment which will be a simple coding test and once you clear that you need to work on externship projects get your project reviewed by experienced developer and become cryo launch developer with customized profile next interview and get hired in top tech companies and most important who is eligible for this cryo launch program so student developers in their final year of colleges and working professionals as well with up to three years of experience so if you fall in this category this is for you so what are you waiting for this is a completely free and amazing opportunity to get hired by top tech companies customized link is in the description use that one and book your slot for cryo launch program so after your resume shortlisting next thing will be technical interview rounds so first thing which will happen and that will be dependent on company to company like they can directly start with the first face to face round of interviews second they might give you some online test or third they can give you some take home assignment so first thing i will talk about later how rounds will start let's talk about the online assessment and take home assessment so in online assessment like they will give you some test link right it will be approximately 45 minutes one hour or even let's say two hours on a different platform like hacker rank hacker earth and any different platform so what i have seen so far uh, mostly companies will be focusing on two aspects in the online test that will be your programming part and the SQL related questions mostly I have seen this pattern like there will be one and two programming questions mostly like you you can definitely solve in Python and if you are comfortable with any other language and second uh, easy to medium level of SQL question there will be two three SQL question which you need to write and they will give you some dummy data set you need to uh, just check the input output what they have provided and write the query accordingly based on the problem statement a schema will be provided everything and you need to write those queries and guys don't worry about the difficulty level of programming questions i have talked about these two topics the important sql topic and the level of dsa questions along with the important topics in my previous videos you can definitely check that out level will be again between easy to medium till medium not more than that and in the take home assignment what will happen companies will give you a proper problem statement with some dummy data sets and you need to write a complete data pipeline for that like reading data from some source like whatever data set they will provide and applying some transformation on top of it they will give you those problem statements like what kind of transformation you need to give and what kind of output they are expecting so mostly i have seen uh, this kind of take home assignment will completely on spark right majorly they will try to check whether you can apply transformation or not and i definitely remember in those take home assignments problem was related to the spark transformation so in mckinsey they given me one online test similarly in thoughtworks there was a one online test and questions related to a uh, simple hadoop related mcq type of question sql and some linux based questions as well so that can be a mixture sometimes 
and along with the programming questions but mostly it will be programming plus sql questions so the companies which gave me take home assignments were like postman coinbase and at minimum you will get three to four days to complete that assessment and submit to the respective team so if you are a fresher or junior level data engineer then you should expect these kind of online assessment for your interview rounds and for the mid senior levels most of the times it would be a take home assignment for you and mostly directly you will be starting with the face to face round interview and now after these type of online test you should actually expect minimum four rounds of interviews right which will be including your technical plus hiring manager so starting with first technical interview round interviewers will mostly focus on two things your programming dsa part and the sql sql will have more and more weightage like 30% in your entire interview process and 10% for the programming and dsa for programming dsa i already talked about the difficulty level so mostly like you should focus more on your approaches while uh, appearing in these rounds like how would you solve it like just uh, think out loud whatever approach you are taking right so even if you don't complete the entire thing at least interview will have the idea what you are trying to solve so that's how you can crack these kind of interviews and sql will have more and more weightage i am again saying i have covered all the important topics in my previous previous videos prepare even the medium and advanced part of sql there will be some really interesting and even complex level of sql queries even in the first round they can check your minimum understanding related to the big data big data basic concept and the first round is really really important for the junior data engineers and mid senior level folks and for the freshers like even if you are good at the programming side because sql is something which you keep on learning when you work on different use cases so for you if you are good at the sql basics that is good and you will be majorly tested on the programming side and now in the second technical round more focus will be on your projects and your core understanding for the big data concepts so whatever you have done in project you need to explain it like the challenges and what was your contribution and everything and even during the discussion interviewer can pick the tech stack which you have worked which you used in your project and might ask some technical questions related to that but specifically talking about the big data related things so hadoop architecture wise is really important and spark is really 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 important and if you have worked on any other tech stack related to big data ecosystems like uh, flink is there and let's say hive is there and any other thing if you have used so the main idea from the interview side to understand your knowledge about the frameworks let's take an example for the spark tip what is rdd data frames how spark actually maintains the lineage graph what is the difference between group by key reduce by key so if you are an entry level data engineer and junior level data engineer mostly they will check your fundamentals but if you are for the mid senior level uh, they will definitely ask questions related to the resource optimization application optimization let's say you are working some a uh, terabyte petabyte of data how you will flow it through the pipeline what will be the challenge is how you can fix it how you will monitor how we will apply the alerting everything right those core complex production level challenges or technical issues or optimizations related thing you have done so as a mid senior level data engineer interviewers will definitely expect these things from you and even in the second round you should expect some sql related questions from the interviewer and now talking about the third round which is related to the design pipeline design etl pipeline design related questions and this is really really important for the mid senior level data engineers because this round is something which will have at least 40% of weightage in the entire interview process but for the entry level freshers and junior level of data engineers in this round they might test your basics and fundamentals related to the etl uh, let's say you have worked on some basic projects in your company's internship or self made project so for you in this round discussions will be around that like they can give you very basic etl pipeline design this is the problem statement how will you do it so very simple level of etl design questions for you along with that interviewer can again focus on your project but for the mid senior level data engineers three four things you actually need to focus to crack this round first you should have a really great understanding of the batch pipelining and if you have got some experience in the real time data streaming that is really really great because based on my previous experiences nowadays companies are asking more and more about the real time streaming pipeline design in these kind of uh, rounds so even if you haven't worked previously i would definitely recommend to spend some time to go through with some blogs and just study about it like what all components you can use so that at least you can provide your own inputs in this round so batch pipelining real time pipelining two important things third thing which can happen in this round is the complete data warehouse design and data modeling the interviewer can give you a very straight problem like let's say design a 
complete optimized uh, data warehouse data model for food delivery app for any uh, application let's say arogya setu for let's say vaccination application anything like that along with this batch pipelining and real time streaming if you have worked on the cloud tech stack as well any of the aws gcp azure right they might ask you to design that particular pipeline with the help of the cloud components and just give a complete picture how will you automate it complete workflow management so everything they will try to test in this part and just not only the designing they will tune the problem they will keep on enhancing the challenges let's say uh, now i'm increasing the data size now i'm increasing the frequency of incoming files right what will be the challenges how will you take care of this scenario this scenario that scenario right so you should have a clear clear understanding of different aspects of batch pipelining different architecture let's say lambda architecture kappa architecture and what will happen in the real time uh, what kind of challenges will be there how to resolve it how will you use kafka how it works entire processing of it right and even for the databases side it is really really important like how you will be working with different data warehousing services different databases let's say transactional and even for the no sql databases when to use why to use where to use so complete whole package so your practical experience with different projects will also help you to crack this design rounds and also your extra understanding right whatever you will cover with the tutorials or some dummy projects right because these things i have seen i have faced in different different companies different different rounds so that's why i'm saying uh, this is the most important for the mid senior level data engineer and now talking about the last round which is common for everyone which is hiring manager round so this round will be more focused on your team fitment and your interaction with the hiring manager and definitely it will start with a normal interaction hiring manager will talk to you will know more about you your experience with the entire process and if you have any questions related to the team whatever you want to know and i would recommend to utilize this round as much as you can like whatever you want to know of your job uh, Uh, responsibilities tech stack about the company projects culture everything you can ask these question to the hiring manager and even in this round to check your team fitment hiring manager will give you some kind of hypothetical situations as well right a uh, hypothetical situation like how would you take some actions if this kind of situation is in front of you so i'll give you a very simple example of hypothetical situation uh, which i remember was asked to me like Uh, let's say you are working on a project and uh, your manager assigns some timelines for that you are working accordingly but something happened and you miss those timelines so when you miss some timelines definitely the communication should go to different different uh, leaderships including your manager so how would you communicate this thing to your customers to your leadership to manager that what happened that you missed the timelines and what are the action items what is the backup plan what will be the next timeline so the complete process of this professionalism right how you work in a corporate world and these are some hypothetical situation there can be some worst situation as well where uh, the hiring manager would like to see your mindset how would you approach how would you uh, solve these things with the help of your soft skills right so this is uh, why this round is also very very important and there can be some uh, minor discussions related to your past projects right and uh, if the hiring manager is more and more the technical side so he can give you very very basic problem statements as well and will just try to look at your thought process and your approach and yes after these rounds if everything goes well definitely you will crack the interview then uh, there will be discussions between you and hr salary negotiation some back and forth and for you if everything works out related to the compensation then congratulations you have a job offer from top tech company as a data engineer so that's what i had for you guys in this video i hope you would have liked this entire information related to the interview process based on the practical experience of mine if yes then make sure to like this video in the really big number so that this relevant information can reach to maximum number of aspiring data engineers who are preparing for some top tech companies and if you are liking this kind of stuff make sure to just subscribe the channel and press the notification icon and if you have any opinion or if you want something from my side in the next video as a data engineer put it in the comment section i would love to hear your thoughts and queries and i will see you guys in next week with another amazing video till then just stay safe stay home take care of yourself and your family too